Hi, my name is Amanda, and I'm here to introduce you to Seneca, a project conceived by the Italian association City Parte. The project is geared toward cultural associations across Europe. The primary goals are to address issues afflicting the elder community, such as loneliness and emotional isolation. The Seneca project encourages an active lifestyle, stimulates curiosity, and the ability to learn new skills by reconnecting elders with the local artistic and cultural heritage. So in Portugal, as an Iman Viventam NGO, we applied our methodology with seniors, juicing uh, for the jewelries, the national patrimony of Cascais. In Spain, our path of work was to learn about the history and uh, the origins of our city, the city of Yecla. The project was inspired by the work of Brazilian pedagogue and educator Ana Mai Barbosa. Her core study is centered on the importance of art as a means to a better quality of life. She developed a system loosely based on three key elements that could be easily replicated and transposed to any city or small town. The first aspect of this system is the research and comprehension of local artists, their work, and the historical moment or context when their artwork was conceived and realized. The second element is more hands-on and based on a series of workshops where participants get to experience and replicate the creative process involved in making that specific kind of artwork. The third part is visiting sites, museums, or locations where the artwork is located or that were instrumental in the creative process. The first part of our workshops was more theoretical part, when we provided the whole knowledge about the theatre, especially puppet theatre, into our learners. We decided to start uh, working with uh, Albertus Burri's uh, art, because he's one of the greatest artists of our region, and one of the greatest in the art history. The participants in the project select and highlight the most meaningful artwork in the area where they live. Rather, the jewels of the area. By doing so, the project promotes a better understanding and knowledge of the local culture and history. The associations involved in this project were City Parte from Italy, Centro de Educación de Adultos de Yicla in Spain, Associação Aninam Viventum in Portugal, and Fundacja Prociancia Publicia in Poland. All share the same devotion to serve the elder community. Each visited and traveled to their counterparts areas of operation to exchange ideas and points of view, allowing them to create a cohesive proposal and foundation for this project. Barbosa's methodology must be interpreted as a framework, especially the three key elements that characterize her approach. Around such a framework, each association can adapt and integrate the art, history, and cultural aspects specific to the region in which they are located. They came back to their childhood and they realized that there's something um, that really exists, something that they haven't shown to their gra grandchildren, and they decided to share it once more, to continue this part of the, of the art and to continue this part of their story and to apply it to other generations. So that was beautiful. <laughs> The workshops are the moment in which the entire project comes together. The participants are able to elaborate on artistic elements of their community through a creative process. They learn or rediscover their artistic patrimony and are invited to become messengers of this knowledge. The newly gained perspective also becomes instrumental in finding new ways to communicate with younger generations using the same modern technology they use. Uh, one of uh, the main benefits that I will highlight of this project is that our elderly students, uh, which live in a very isolated and remote city, uh, could uh, feel more connected with other uh, people, uh, not only in Spain, but also in Europe. A renewed curiosity finds its way through the process of creating and learning together. It is a fun and entertaining challenge for the participants. It allows them to engage with others while familiarizing themselves with their history, culture, 
and what makes them unique. The feedback received from this project is highly encouraging. Every communal as well as personal experience has been different, rich, and meaningful. To paraphrase John Dewey, it is through work that we really learn.